Hey guys, Diana Chan here. Kaburu Kitchen has launched a campaign to encourage everyone to get creative in the kitchen via an Instagram recipe swap. We want to spread the joy of cooking to as many homes as possible. And so today I am going to be making a crowd favorite Japanese dish called karage chicken, which means fried chicken in Japanese. Now all you need is a few ingredients like soy sauce, sake, mirin, sesame oil, chicken of course, some ginger and garlic. So I've got 500 grams of chicken thighs here. Now you can use chicken breast but I like thighs because it's got that sort of fat that runs through it so it doesn't dry out and so I think it's best. And then I'm going to add in about a quarter of a cup of soy sauce. I've got a couple of tablespoons of sake. If you don't have sake, you can use Chinese rice wine, Shaoxing wine. Um, one tablespoon of mirin. Mirin's this sort of like sweet uh, Japanese vinegar. And then half a tablespoon of sesame oil. So that goes in, give it a good mix. And then I'm gonna be grating in some ginger and garlic. Okay, so that looks about right. And then now I am going to add in a clove of garlic, which I'm going to mince. Press that through. So I'm going to let that marinate in the fridge, um, covered with some plastic wrap for um, a few hours. But you, basically, you, you, the longer the better. So here's one I've prepared earlier. So that's. Um, the chicken that's been sitting in the marinade, I've left it overnight and it's basically super infused. Alright, so now the next part is we're going to start cooking. Into a bowl, I am using some rice flour and some potato flour. Now what it does is, um, this flour is super fine, so I don't really want a thick coating on it. So I'm not going to add any egg and then double batter it. So it's just going to be a really light coat, um, hence why I'm using rice and potato flour. Now the potato flour basically gives it that really good crunch and there's the lightness from the rice flour as well. You can use um, other flours like tapioca flour for example. So I just used 50-50 but um, it's, it's entirely up to you what you have. If you don't have enough of this, you can um, obviously add in some uh, plain flour. Um, but I find that rice flour and potato flour works best. Okay, now I'm just gonna add in the chicken one piece at a time and then give that a good coat. So I've got a wok here um, with some oil, vegetable oil, on heat and I'm trying to get it up to 170, 180 degrees. Now if you're unsure, um, use a thermometer, otherwise you can just pop in a little bit of um, flour and once it starts to sizzle, you'll know that the oil is ready and it's hot. So I'm going to fry in the chicken that I've coated. Don't overcrowd the wok. Um, you can use a saucepan for this, no issues. You, you don't want to overcrowd it, so no more than six to, to eight pieces at a time. Now I'm just going to cook this for about three to five minutes or until they're golden and crispy, and I'll continue with the rest, and I can't wait to tuck in. So I've got my last batch of chicken cooking and I've got these beautiful golden nuggets in front of me. I'm going to start plating up because you want to have them super hot. So just literally pop them all, pile them on and yum. That looks amazing. Mm. Super crispy, super light, piping hot. Yum. Now, 
on the plate. I'm going to serve it with some kewpie because kewpie. Loads of it because you're going to need it. Um, some wasabi if you like. There's a good squirt of wasabi on the side. And then just to cut through the sort of richness, serve it with a cheek of lemon and some pickled ginger. If you haven't got any, that's absolutely fine, but I think it just sort of adds that sort of freshness to the dish and brighten, brightens it up a little bit more. So there you have it guys, my karyagi chicken. I hope you've enjoyed this recipe and you give it a crack in the kitchen. And don't forget to hashtag in the kitchen with Caboodle.